Hi everyone, Sailor Moon here, <coughs> and Luna here, and today we're going to do our little take on, you know, and some might say it's a podcast, but it's not, but it's more like, you know, <coughs> off shooting, you know, so today we're going to talk about why a lot of folks didn't like the Deacon Cloverway Sailor Moon, and they got their answers. I mean, they got their beliefs, their thoughts, so why they don't like it, <clears throat> you know. Like, first, they didn't like the names, <clears throat> you know, names, <clears throat> you know, borrowed names being shifted out for, didn't like folks' names being shifted out, didn't like stead or strike names being shifted out, you know, for other names. They didn't like, you know, the show playing. They uh, didn't like it how some some of the sagas didn't get worked on at all, how some things were skimmed out when it came to fighting, how in straight folks were shifted. You know, a lot of things that they uh, do not like about it. I mean, so they got the right to that though. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, was there any is there anything good about it like are there things that you could look back and say you liked it because these folks out here want you to think that everything about the deep one or the clove away one was bad and there's nothing good about it you know what do you think about that Luna I mean me and you were together from you know the first following to the fourth following if you go by Deacon Cloverways one and including the free films if you go by Pioneer whatever the English word Path Seekers one well if you're asking me Sailor Moon what I think is I think that yeah a lot of folks do have the belief and thought and take that say that the ink that the Deke and Cloverway Sailor Moon was not good I mean, they do make a big deal about borrow names being shifted out for borrow names. You know, strike names instead names being shifted out. I mean, yeah, a lot of them didn't like it that all the, the only some of the sagas got worked on and some didn't get worked on at all. Others didn't like how the wrestling and the fighting were being skimmed out. <clears throat> and a lot of them thought that that you know the skimming or cleaning of unstraight folks some felt that that wasn't right <clears throat> but at the end of the day I do believe that there are a lot of you know things about the Deacon Chloe Salem Moon that are good I mean it's not all bad I mean if you listen to these folks they'll tell you every single thing about it's bad I mean Aiden didn't like the show playing you know they behave as if it's the worstest, you know, like it's a sin or misdeed against drawing shows or drawing films, you know, as if Sailor Moon is, was the only one that ever got that done to it. But there are, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, the sagas and tales are still there. They didn't shift that, right? I mean, the songs are good. And yeah, I, I just don't understand why they make a big deal out of that. Oh, and you know what else, Luna? Is that these folks believe that the only grounds to why Viz Ezer got the rights to work with all the five followings and the three films and those outstanding sagas, which, you know, Deke and Chloe never did anything with, they seem to think that that the, that the, the Viz got the rights to work with it because everybody hated the Deke and Chloe one. Was that true? I mean, that's what I heard. If that's true, then that would have meant that folks would have kept on bitching and bought it for years. I mean, do you really believe? I mean, at the end of the day, yes, it was cool that Viz got the rights to work with Sailor Moon and put in the English again and give them, give some of the irked and angered and ret Sailor Moon followers out there who hated the Deacon Cloverway one, you know, the one they wish they got back in the day. But at the end of the day, when I think of Sailor Moon, I always think of the Deacon one and the Cloverway one. Sorry, that's the one I think of. 
But no, my show wasn't that bad. I mean, why make a big deal about, you know, names being borrowed names being shifted out for other borrowed names? Why make a big deal about stead names and strike names being shifted for other strike names and stead names? I mean, why make a big deal about the show playing? I mean, if you're gonna make a big deal about the skimming or the shifting of unstraight folks, we've talked about this many times. I mean, yeah, back in the day, Deacon Cloverway and a lot of other businesses and a lot of folks had the belief that if you were doing a, <clears throat> a film, show, or play for children and it had unstraight folks, well, you had to clean it out, you know? It's not like how it is today where a lot of folks have the mindset and stand is an open-mindedness, understanding, trusting, you know. It isn't like how it was back in the day. So, yeah, but at the end of the day, the Deacon Chloe Sailor Moon wasn't as bad as folks like to make it out to be. Well, you're right about that, Sailor Moon. I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of folks like to bitch... <coughs> And rant, you know, about, you know, you know, about the Deke and Chloe Sailor Moon. Like, why did they have to shift their names out from Donish names to other borrowed names? Why did they have to shift the Stead and Strike names out? Why did Unstraight folks get, you know, shifted? You know, bitch about the show playing. Or bitch about how instead of driving on one side of the street, they're driving on the other side of the street. I mean, yeah, they do make a big deal about all kinds of things. And I mean, thank God you got Viz out there that they gave them the one they wanted so they could just shut up. But at the end of the day, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, at the end of the day, the Deep and Clue Away one and our book is cool. I mean, all right, is it flawless? No. But we don't let those flaws and things that other folks, you know, make a big deal about. You know? You know, those things don't irk us or make us angry <gasps> like other folks out there do. Ooh, sorry for all these, you know, coughing, you know, burps that started coming out of nowhere. We don't make a big deal out of it. But if you don't like the Deacon and Chloe Sailor Moon, that's fine. I mean, that's all right. That's good. You know? Well, all right, time to end this film. If you like this film, then follow us over here at Sailor Moon for Life. Don't forget to share, thumb up, and playlist this film. Watch the other film we made yesterday over here. I and don't forget that ringer and bind and on the next upload live stream as short as I, Luna, and I, Sailor Moon, will see you later.